friends today we'll discuss about simple micro microscope and uh, we'll find its magnifying power so <coughs> simple microscope what is a simple microscope a single convex lens is called a simple microscope So, if you have a single convex lens, this is called simple microscope. Now, <clears throat> what is the principle on which this simple microscope works? Basically, microscope is used to magnify the size of the object. That means, if you see the object, and through the lens, the image found is magnified. The image is magnified. That means the <coughs> object's uh, size is uh, increased uh, when you see through lenses. And uh, how it is possible on which uh, uh, conditions the microscope uh, has a magnified image. Now, we know that in case of a convex lens, if we place an object within focus, then only you have magnified image okay and that image is also virtual and erect so if i give an example of this suppose that this is the optical center i place an object suppose this is the focus i place an object within focus then this object say i call this as a b a b is the object then what will happen to this object you can see here that I will draw the image this way, okay, this way, and it will pass through focus. This distance will be same. So for that, this passes like this, and I, because of refraction, this will pass through this side. If I extend this ray in the backward direction, it will uh, go something like that, and I will take another ray passing through the optical center. And we know that any ray passing through optical center will not get deviated, it will go straight. So it will go straight like that. So this side it is diverging in nature. So these two rays will never meet this side. But if I extend this ray in the backward direction, obviously it will move like that, like this. And it will meet somewhere here. You can see it will meet somewhere here. So here the image is formed. This image is suppose A dash and B dash. Now, <coughs> Now you can see the that the angle it softens at the eye. If eye is very close to the lens, this angle is suppose uh, theta. Okay, this angle is theta. Then uh, you can see that the object is uh, of this size and the image is of this size. That means the image is magnified. So this is the principle on which uh, the uh, microscope works. That means the object you to view through microscope has to be within the focal length of the microscope so therefore when you use microscope we have to adjust the length of the object and uh, the distance of the object from the lens then only you can see the this uh, image that is it is uh, magnified virtual and erect this is the nature of the image that is formed so we'll use this to find the um, magnifying uh, power of simple microscope let us derive the expression for magnifying power of a simple microscope now <coughs> magnifying power magnifying power of a simple microscope let us consider so first of all uh, we will uh, write the definition of magnifying power it is the <coughs> ratio of
of visual angle subtended by This means if uh, I have an object, suppose this is my eye, an object is placed here, say AB, this is the angle that is subtended, when it is kept at DDV, so this distance is DDV, that angle is alpha, this angle is alpha. So alpha is the angle subtended by the object at the eye when it is kept at DDV. Okay. Second is when I this is my eye, I use the I see through the lens. I see through the lens, and the object is uh, here. The same object is here, but then. this uh, image is supposed to found here a dash b dash now <clears throat> what angle this uh, object subtends at the lens is the same angle this uh, image also subtends at the eye suppose this angle is beta now the angle that is subtended here beta and the angle that is subtended here is alpha the image that is subtending angle at the eye when seen through lens see here it is the ratio of the visual angle subtended by the image at the eye image at the eye when seen through lens seen through lens that is beta to the angle subtended by object at the eye when kept at ddb that means magnifying power is basically the ratio of beta by alpha in this case, it is the ratio of beta by alpha. So, magnifying power is beta divided by alpha. This is the meaning of magnifying power. So, uh, let us derive the expression as we have uh, dropped a picture there that magnifying power of simple microscope is beta by alpha. This is what we have to find. Now, if I see the diagram, okay, let me draw the diagram once more. The object is here. Suppose the image is here. Okay, suppose that the object is here and the image is here. Now, the lens is here <coughs> now the angle it subtends is beta this is a this is b this is a dash and this is b dash at this point actually the diagram should be here only the lens should be here but okay this distance is very very less now in this triangle tan beta from which triangle a dash suppose this point is o then tan beta is a dash b dash divided by a dash o which is same as a b by a o this is the object distance i'll write u this is the image distance i'll write v but this is a b by u a b is u a B is A B by A O is U. A B by U. This is equation number one. If I have a situation like this, that object is kept at DDV, the angle it subtends at the eye is alpha. So this is A B. So from here, tan alpha 
is AB divided by D. So this is equation number 2. From these two equations, tan beta by tan alpha. If the angle is very very small, then this can be beta and this can be alpha. So beta by alpha is AB by U here divided by AB by D here. AB will cancel out. That implies magnifying power is D by U. This is the magnifying power of a simple microscope. We can use in place of U if we don't want you, we can write uh, this expression in terms of V and F because we know 1 by V is 1 by uh, 1 by V minus 1 by U is 1 by F or any lens. So I can use that also. That we'll discuss in the next class to the different cases. So, so far we have discussed only magnifying power of uh, uh, simple microscope and uh, this uh, magnifying power is a uh, both uh, you can write D and U if you take the sign then uh, both D and U are negative. So if both D and U are negative the magnifying power comes out to be positive. So that we will discuss in our next class that uh, uh, how to find the magnifying power of uh, this simple microscope in different cases. That means when you uh, put the object uh, at DDV uh, when the image is found at DDV and uh, when the image is found at infinity. So where you should place the object so that the image is exactly formed at TDV and at infinity because these are the two points, far points and near point. So you can see the image uh, of the object formed. So there we will see these two cases uh, in our next video. Okay, we will continue with that. Thank you.